one day they took us to visit a child care facility and what we saw that day would actually change the trajectory of my life and what we saw was caregivers who love the children very very much and they were doing the absolute best they could with extremely limited resources so they were reusing disposable diapers because what do you do when you have to choose between food and diapers? Who is now no longer a baby, as you can see. And we're like, you know what? We'll just create a Facebook group. We'll call it Jake's Diapers for Peru. Collect enough diapers for those 15 babies and be done. <laughs> Last year, we served over 17,000 people in 20 some odd countries. We are folding lots of diapers. And where are these diapers going? We put them all over the place. Awesome. One in three families struggle to afford diapers. And there are no federal safety net programs that help with diapers. If you don't have enough diapers, then you can't send your child to childcare. If a child can't go to childcare, a caregiver can't go to work. And it's just this huge spiral of, diapers are such a basic need, but so missed. If you're living paycheck to paycheck, and you take your paycheck and you go to the store because you desperately need diapers, and now the shelves are empty, what do you do? I was running low on diapers for my son um, and due to COVID and I have an autoimmune condition so I didn't really want to go out and get any. Told her I was running low and because of that I was thinking of cloth diapering so I wouldn't have to keep running out and buying disposables. So she said that I could get one of the sample packs that they usually send to mothers in need. So I was able to get one of the sample packs of cloth diapers. We've provided more diapers in March, April, and May than I, we did in all of 2019. And we are loading this airplane you see behind us with hygiene kits to be distributed. It's like one lady, her husband has cancer. They're terrified to go to the store. We literally set some in a parking lot and she stopped by, so we're standing, you know, 10 feet apart outside. She was in tears because she was happy that someone cared enough to help her, but it was just an overwhelming reaction of, we went to, we didn't know if we where we were gonna get supplies. We didn't know what we were gonna do. If somebody reaches out, Stephanie's willing to help. Um, if people are in need, she will find a way of being able to help them. I don't know, there's no greater feeling in the world than helping someone else. Like we're all in this together. And I think about like my life, lots of people have helped me and how can we, you know, pay it back? Like it's all that working together.